In a big bold move, ISRO for the first time will fly living material to space. India for the very first time is flying biological experiments into space using an Indian rocket. The next launch of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle scheduled for December 30th will see not one but three biological experiments with living cells being rocketed into space. Keeping living things alive in the hostile near vacuum of space is a hugely challenging task. NDTV science editor uh, Pallav Bagla spoke exclusively to ISRO chairman Dr. S. Somanathan, who says uh, India has to master astrobiology to fly Gaganyaan. Take a look. Indian Space Research Organization is all about innovation. This launch of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle will carry live experiments in space for the first time. Spinach, cowpea and gut bacteria. I have with me Dr. S. Somnath, Chairman, Indian Space Research Organization. And Dr. Somnath, why are we carrying these experiments with live organisms in space? Astrobiology? You know, just it's an indication of uh, an emerging field in the space as far as India is concerned. Uh, as you are aware that we are going to build a Bharati Andhra station. And this gives a huge opportunity for scientists who are working in the domain of bio space, bio activities, will get a platform to do conduct research in this area. In fact, we have been talking about it uh, quite a long time and not giving a real opportunity to uh, the scientists and the innovators to work in that domain. And POEM has come out of age. You know, we have done three POEM experiments in the past. Now the the fourth of the poem also gives an opportunity to do specific you know, experiments in that direction, which requires a lot of maneuvers of the stage, keeping it alive for uh, longer durations of time, giving commands and executing the certain activities, image transfer from space, etc. Those capabilities we were building over a period of time. And now it has come to the right time for us to host those payloads, which has been going on in the ground for some time. So, so what are the live experiments? I think all of you know it. We have already published it in the website. It's are available for you to read. But there, there are, as you mentioned, the cowpea experiment, which looks at the germination and the growth of that seed. Also on the spinach experiment, as well as a gut bacterial experiment. And all these are coming from some from uh, ISRO's own research uh, wing and others from the startups companies. Yeah, and academic institutions. Academic institutions as well. So all of it in an effort to understand how life works in space. No, there is quite a bit of research done in life, life working in space uh, by others. But if you look at India, we don't have data you know, available from our own research. It's important for us to accu you know, accumulate this data over a period of time. I can't see this experiment as in isolation. It is a you know, precursor to bigger things that need to come in the future, especially human beings. We have to go to space and stay for a long time. We need to understand each of this. Bacteria is important for human beings to remain healthy even in space, because without their support, human beings cannot survive. Absolutely. So we need to understand the behavior of bacteria in space. 